times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in a piece You know when they say, oh, be you I feel like this is the perfume the video should be using because it smells like money and power like it smells like you have private jets this thing smells like riches like wealth it smells like rmd and i've never smelled rmd before <sighs> you want your guy to just be eating your neck and your chest this is what you need <sighs> This smells like finance. It smells like like substance. I know that does not make any sense. My daddy is saying something smells like substance. Oh yeah, come and spray. If you if you don't find the smell, I will cancel you. Come. You, you see, so I got it. I round of applause. Give me. I will let back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, that's the look that we're rocking for today. Hi guys, my name is Okwe, and if you're joining us for the first time. Welcome. You need to come and say hi. And we're twinning, sort of. You guys, Miss Boston, don't show face. Shook head. Every time they come, they always look at the screen. You are looking at the camera, not the screen. Boston oh. is also a makeup artist, guys. I can see my face. I hope you can see your face now. Go and see. <laughs> This video is my end of the year haul. Yes, I know that we're already in another year, so <laughs> let me hear what, okay? I posted the stuff I got like late last year on Instagram and a lot of people wanted a review of the perfumes, but then I'm like, the perfume I'm buying is like at least one and a half years late from the launch. So a review of the perfume alone will not make any sense. So I decided to just film a haul. Fam, the perfumes were expensive though, in fact, we're gonna look at the price. It's just like just like six items. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's start from the other tiny stuff. Let's start from the most basic one. I got this brush. Man, the dead jacket, I know reposted it. My DM was on fire. Full of rude ass people. But Ibo they don't have respect. Sorry to any Ibo person that's watching me that I highly doubt. <laughs> but yeah, I bought this brush. This is the, I, I will call it the Jackie I know brush because if I were NYX, I would have named this brush the Jackie I know brush since with the amount that she has made them sell. So this is the foundation brush that Jackie I know uses. I'm going to try and insert a picture of her using it. But then if you've seen any of her tutorial, both on Insta Story, Instagram, whatever, YouTube, this is the brush she uses for her foundation. And I've used it for two videos already and I'm, sh I've, I'm sure I've spoken about it before. This brush is bay. Like, I am definitely going to order more. I'm going to order it and use it for powder. I'm going to, in fact, I have one in my kit. So I ordered two. So this is mine, my personal one, and then this is the one for the kit. As you can see, it's already in a state of Isma Plisma because of how much I've used it. This brush retails for $17. So I got two. So that's $34. A dollar is is what seventeen dollars? A dollar is three sixty, so seventeen dollars should be like three thousand something. Yeah, no, <coughs> sorry, this brush is six thousand one hundred and twenty, and I bought two, so that's twelve thousand, twelve thousand three ish. Number two, I got this. <laughs> I got this sunscreen because Lagos is on fire, literally. Like the sun, sun has stolen our ozone layer in Nigeria, so we don't have ozone layer again. So the sun is just directly on our heads. So I got two of this. One is actually meant for my sister, but she has refused to pay, so I've colored this back until she pays me. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion Sunscreen in SPF 50. You cannot use anything less than 50 in Lagos. You are doing yourself. I like this one because it doesn't have that white cast. It's almost like a moisturizer because there's some sunscreen that you use and then underneath your foundation. In fact, if you, you can't wear it out alone because you look like you have dusting powder all over your face. But this is not like that. This is water based and it's very 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 light it's not heavy retailed for $24 one and I got two plus tax that it came up to $43.92 so let's just say $44 yo this thing the two of them 15,840 and they sell it for 7,075 in Nigeria so it's not bad because if two is 15,840 it's even cheaper in Nigeria I hope there is the original one sure Please, I can't shout though. I don't know any vendor. I don't know who to point you to. Please, because if this thing is literally 8,000 naira per one and they're selling it for 7k in Nigeria, I don't know how the person's mathematics came about. The next, ha! I'm very, very excited about this. If you guys are used to this, these Instagram buddies, all the videos that they used to do, all these Instagram bloggers, this is like the most popular primer of 2019. And I tried it in my last video, my Chicha Get Ready With Me video. That's 2019 recap. I used this inside and I loved it. I can't wait to use it on my clients. Actually, not just any other clients, just like 
brides, the ones that are paying me expensive money because ain't nobody gonna use this for cheap makeup. This is the 45 ml and it's $30 on the dot. So $30 in Naira. So this retails for 10800 Like I said, I used this one and I really, really liked it. It, it. it reminds me of, it's very sticky. Like, okay, do you guys remember when we used to use um, aftershave for primer? Yes, it reminds me of that, but it's just more intense. Aftershave never had that grip. Literally, the name of this thing is Hydro Grip Primer. So it's, it has it has that grip. Like when you're moving it on your face, it's almost it almost feels like it doesn't want to move and the makeup you put on it is going to stick to it so that's the whole point so i really like this one guys this is what my shirt looks like i bought it from hmm <laughs> should i tell you where i bought it from aliexpress but we'll come to that later this is the next thing i bought this is tatcha the silk canvas primer these two primers were actually made to me three people made them really popular nikki tutorial makeup Sheila, and then jackie so these are the primers i i got and i really love this one this one makeup Sheila, and jackie um, and nikki tutorials are very very fond of it then this one jackie i know uses it even on her uh, insta story if you watch her insta story tutorials i tried this one on myself today that's what i used for the video i did a video of this actually I recorded the tutorial in Yoruba so I'm done with people asking me for that Yoruba it's a second Yoruba video so I already did that but then this tutorial I used this primer I liked it and I feel like it'll be good for people that have oily skin more because it reminds me of Pond's primer but not that hot drying like it's not as mattifying as Pond's primer but then the consistency is like that it felt like that when I was rubbing it on my face this was $52 so this is $18,720 these things cost way more in Nigeria if you're going to buy this in Nigeria you definitely be looking like 20 to 25,000 between 20 to 25,000 naira because obviously Nigerians just always multiply everything I think this retailed for like 17k in Nigeria and that's like almost 7,000 naira extra you can't blame them to be honest because I paid like $45 dollars for shipping and it's my sister's company so imagine if you're using another company how do i explain it my sister is a personal shopper and then i just send her the money so i had to pay her her own like percentage and then i had to pay for shipping so if you actually think about that especially if you're using like a personal shopper their own percentage and then shipping it's almost boils down to the same price if i were to sell this and i consider those costs i would probably sell it for like fifteen thousand naira. so you can't really blame them so moving on to the most expensive and the one i'm most excited about ah, my babies let me carry it up like like lion king that i've not still watched it today ah. guys so this is the kayagi perfume brand is owned by mona katan and that's Uda Beauty's younger sister guys i don't know how my obsession came about this perfume obviously if you watch my vlogs and some of my videos you know that i told you guys that i am obsessed ob obsessed with perfumes like i feel like if you need to buy me anything just buy me is it is food or perfume that's just i don't need too much if it's not food it's perfume basically in case one of you want to buy me anything i'm just saying food or perfume you can order food for me i will eat it but you see this thing i invest a lot of money in my perfumes and one day i was just like you know what i'm due for a new scent 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 I'm due for a new smell. Let me just put it that way. I don't know how I just became obsessed. That day I watched almost every review on YouTube I could find on Kylie, the Kylie brand. I went on their Instagram and I was just like, oh my god, I need this. And there was a lady that described the smell so well. I don't know if she still works there, but she said she used to work at the perfume stand. Sorry, excuse me. The perfume stand at Sephora. So she's very familiar with a lot of brands and perfume and everything. So I went off a recommendation to buy mine one of the reasons i actually bought this perfume is because i'm the master of perfume cocktails like when it comes to layering perfumes if you meet me outside and you ask me what perfume are you wearing it's i can't tell you is this brand because that would be a lie i wear like five bottles in one day like i just spray different smell i just feel like it's more captivating and you you don't tend to smell like anybody i don't want to go somewhere and they're like oh you smell like so so, so person no i want you to have a smell in your head and you can't take it off and it's because of me do you understand that's the kind of perfume lifestyle i live what 
Kayali prides itself on is the fact that they are very good in layering when it comes to like creating a new scent so this is their Kayali elixir so this Kayali elixir smells like well, well not smells like they're just giving you like your imagination just imagine how all these things smell that is how what this thing smells like so red apple i'm guessing this is a french word so it's pronounced rosé the my absolute jasmine sambac absolute vanilla and patchouli i guess i'm not sure but that's what they wrote on this one let me show you guys the bottle so cute do you see that do you see this luxuriousness i'm going to definitely like try and describe the scent of each perfume to you guys so you guys can understand but one thing i love about this perfume is that the nozzle is it just screams luxury ah, i didn't bring my other perfume shit okay i'm going to just describe it with like good i'm going to use a a cannot make it certain spray to show you guys what i mean i'm not going to waste my perfume i'll still spray it on my body but can you see this spray and eh, just look at this I don't know if my camera is getting this, but see this so oh. ah if I waste this perfume to pay me. Ah hey, give me my top. I can't waste my perfume, so I'm going to spray it on my clothes. You guys should open your eyes though, because I'm not going to spray it twice. <laughs> There's a way the nozzle just pushes out the perfume that is very, very different. You might not see it because my camera is not that great. But there's like it comes out like I've, I wish I could record this sound. But so look at it too. Can you see it? It's like it comes out in slow motion. It doesn't do like this. And it doesn't spread everywhere. It's not spreading. It's like shh. That's the only way I can just can you smell this thing? Smell it. <laughs> this thing smells like riches. Like wealth. It smells like RMD. And I've never smelled RMD before. Did you understand what I mean? Like it smells like George Clooney. <laughs> it smells yo. It smells like power. When you spray it and enter somewhere, they're like the person that just entered has power as as he just smells luxurious he smells elite I, i'm telling that's the smell elite that's the word i'm looking for it smells like you just came back from a vacation and you're on first class trip i don't know i'm, just, I'm thinking of the most expensive thing you can think of in your mind that's what this perfume smells like if you don't like a very i'm here smell like this smell is in your face like once the person enters you want to look at the person that is wearing this perfume it has that smell like i'm here and you have to pay attention to every single thing i'm saying that's what this perfume smells like guys if you're not interested in oud perfume and oud smell don't even bother but if you're interested in power might and honor no. <laughs> just go and buy this perfume it just smells like an older woman or an older man but not in a nasty way like in a powerful way i don't know how to explain it to you guys i wish you guys could smell it yo mad mad let me go to the next one this is the vanilla 28 okay yeah so this is how it comes then the bottle is a transparent white ish i love the fact that the liquid is colorful it looks like ribena the same thing happens with the nozzle of this perfume it has this like there's a slow motion that comes with every single press <laughs> it almost is precise and it almost feels like it's coming out in slow motion and it's it's not hard to press like it's not it's just not flimsy like this it's like it wants you to think twice before pressing it that's how i feel it feels like every time you want to press this perfume perfume is like are you sure are you sure and then it now comes out like Shh. but this smells like it smells like happiness the smell it here can you see <laughs> is it? Mm. it smells like he has a va very strong vanilla smell but it's not like vanilla ice cream that all those fake vanilla perfumes this one that smells like joy and happiness they wrote vanilla orchid tonka absolute brown sugar it definitely smells like brown sugar it just smells very sweet and happy amber wood and musk which other perfume do i have that is very sweet and sugary okay you know the way um things from bath and body work smell very happy very flowery this doesn't smell like that this smells a bit more mature it's like take bath and body works kind of all those perfumes their smell and then just add maturity on it or add money on it that's how it smells it smells like you just got proposed to and you just you just need something oomph like you want your guy to just be eating your neck and your chest this is what you need 
and I'm not even joking. Okay, now let's go to the last one. I have bought a bigger size, like this is smaller than this. This is the 100ml and this is the 50ml. I wanted to buy big size for the four they had, but bruv, <laughs> it's not cheap. So this one is the cute one, like this one is so cute. You see the color difference. This is one thing I love about these bottles. The fact that the content has colors, you can see this. So this is different between the 100ml bottle and, and then they even have a tinier bottle. So they have like, it's almost like a sample size, but it's bigger than the regular sample size. Something of this size. So you see this and then you see what this is beside it. That's how it looks. This is Scent Musk 12. And this, uh, how do I explain this smell? Boston, can you like perceive it and just describe it? You can spray it. I can just do it. <laughs> I can come and explain the scent. What do you think? <laughs> That's a kind of talk. Oh, yeah, talk. Tell us. I swear it's amazing balls. It just has this um mm -hmm. very musky. The name is musk. Okay, I didn't even see that. I can't explain it really. <laughs> Girl, yeah. This one's never making my job easier. This one, I can't explain it. I can't. I feel you. I feel you. I don't know the it word. Just... It smells like like substance. I know that does not make any sense. <laughs> I feel broke on my up. Can you say something smells like substance? You say after all the money my dad used to send you. Oh yeah, come and spray. If you if you don't find the smell, I will cancel you. Come. You guys, this thing we turn to fight last last in this studio. It does you can't describe you can, I can't describe the smell. It smells so good that it does not have a name. Oh yeah, I'm just wasting my expensive perfume. Bimbo does not like perfume, guys. Let me just put it out there. <laughs> because I wasn't able to smell for 14 years. So. Yes, she had issues with her nose, but now God has delivered her. Oh, wow. It smells woody. Woody. Yes. It has like a deep I would I wouldn't say like the smell of smoke and AC in a club, something close to that. Ah, I yeah, but that does not smell pleasant. It smells good. It smells like you know when you go to like all those hotel lobbies where they allow them smoke, yes. where there's mm. like a bar with alcohol, but with like but with flowers, with like flowers, yeah, <laughs> fresh. So it doesn't smell bad, but it's it like smells smoke and wood in a garden. Yeah, with roses. Uh, yeah, exactly. smoke and wood in a garden. You but see, so I got it. I round of applause. Ew. 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 Give me. I left bad. When I was reviewing this thing on Insta story. I describe it as joy and happiness and then someone went ahead and bought it and then sent me a picture of her own bottle and said I needed joy and happiness in my life. I felt like that was the only way I could describe that vanilla scent. But you see this one. The person that will sit down beside me during sugar rush, now I'm going to enjoy it past because I will just be smelling like Man. several things. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> like sugar. Well, I get what they're saying. It's not as intense as because if you're someone that does not like the smell of maybe like if you enter charlatan now that musky smell that hits you. It's not that. It's not bad. But it's like that smell. But then now add loads of petals and roses and nice nicer things to it. That's how it smells. Whew. This smells like finance. <laughs> if you enter somewhere and you smell like this, they just feel like ah. But boy, you only only ex, it smells like exposure. Only exposure. Do you understand? It smells like exposure. <laughs> but you see this one. This one smells like joy and happiness. Just pure joy. Just joy. But then you now see this one. This one smells like funds. That's just it. You know when they say oh bio. I feel like this is the perfume the video should be using because it smells like money and power. Like it smells like you have private jets. That's just the word. So you see this, my three babies. This, this. Huh. No words. There are some times that I want to go in, like if I have an event and I spray the three of them. Lord. And you know what I do? When, every time I spray perfumes like that, I don't wind down in my car. I just stay like that. I have to conserve the smell. Because I'm not about to let Todd Milan Bridge blow my perfume away. I always make sure I foil my car when I'm going out because I'm not winding down till I get to where I'm going. They must get the full force of that smell. <laughs> I want to calm down my car and the first person that will hug me will be like, what's going on why are you smelling like a bucket a load of money especially when it's layered my god it's like your sense of smell is just popping like poof, poof. like everything is just 
exploding in your mind that's how this thing feels like right now the smell of the vanilla and the musk i sprayed is just I, I feel happy like i feel gingered in my soul so now let's talk about the price points <laughs> I'll tell you the price of the 50ml and the price of the 100ml. So uh, these big bottles are the 100ml and it retails for $118. So a bottle, it's not so expensive in Naira to be honest because we have way more expensive perfumes. Even if you go to Essence, uh, be Essence, whatever that, they have perfume of 90k there. So it's not bad in Naira but to me then because <laughs> I use all my money to buy it. In Naira is 42480 times 2. So that's 84960 guys. Money I can use to do something important. I use it to buy perfume so these two bottles the 200 ml's retail for 84,960 so the 50 ml is 85 dollars so this one is 30,600 and then they have a pack that has all their four cents but the smaller version i'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see it if you're not someone that wants to invest that much in perfume you can get that small pack number one you get the four bottles of the perfume and then it's not as expensive and the miniature set i feel like it's nice so this is what it looks like it's actually bigger like it's bigger than this case so it's like a proper big box so it's a bit smaller than this so you can get something like that but they have a new bottle by the way that's the one i need to get my hands on but it took a lot to get these perfumes to nigeria so i'm not even ginger except if i have someone that traveled and is coming back then i don't mind but if you don't they don't ship to nigeria you can't buy straight from their website there has to be an intermediary and that person has to be either person's coming back because if that person also has to ship it to you shipping perfume is there's a name they call it like the way they brand it it's just the same way Uda Beauty doesn't ship their setting spray to Nigeria it's the same way they don't ship this perfume because it's branded Asmat, yes, sorry, not Amazon. Perfumes are classified as Asmat products, so they are shipped separately. So it took forever to ship these things to me. Apart from the fact that the company I was using was a mad company and they were stressing my sister out. So if you don't have someone coming to Nigeria or you are ready to be patient, you can order from a personal shopper. But if you have someone coming to Nigeria, it's very easy. So you guys will see what I spent my money on. Hey God, no wonder I was broke in December. Which kind of money did I waste like this? See you, see how much I use for my end of the year all. 173,160. For just seven products, eight products. And the perfumes were the most expensive, obviously. But then it's an investment. I have perfumes I've been using for three years and I'm still not like halfway through the bottle. I don't descend on this perfume and finish it, no. I have loads of perfumes, so I just use bits and pieces of each one each day. And also dep depending on the importance of where I'm going, that also counts so if i'm going let's say i'm coming to the studio i won't go and carry my kayali perfume and come to the studio except if i have a client that is important that is coming or if i'm going to my bride now and i want to make an impression yes i can wear this or if i'm going for an event but then i also have less expensive perfumes i have like there's one wood i bought and it was just five thousand naira. i bought it in grand square and it smells amazing so that's why i went to work most of this day, most of the days then i have perfumes i buy here and there like if you guys want me to do like my perfume collection let me know i think boston is is going to be the person that is going to come and that will be my partner and i like the perfume you wore when you came in here it smelled like what perfume was that sabi a day if you're like me that used to layer, <laughs> layer perfume so you layered like how many yes. bottles like a zara there's one john something then a mist yes mist are very important guys because if you just want to step out of your house and you're not going anywhere i have one victorian secret mist that smells like gold it was no it's not victorian secret it's bath and body works and guys bath and body works has amazing perfumes so if you're abroad and you're looking for well if you're abroad you won't be looking for because you live abroad so you can step into any shop and get perfume but then for us in nigeria if you have someone traveling or even if you don't um i'm going to leave the I, I've, I've said this like a lot of times my sister does personal shopping and she can help you get Get anything you want clothes shoes bag blah 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 whatever to nigeria so you can go to her and if you just if you just want bath and body works if you're not so into perfume like this and you just want to smell nice or you just want to invest one bottle is fine and you can mix it with mist you get if you guys want to see like my perfume collection dedicated video to perfume or my perfume collection let me know i'm going to record that because this year we're moving i've said it like a thousand times we're exploring and doing like more content i want to see what you guys are really interested in so if you guys want to have me see down and describe my whole perfume collection to you guys in words that don't make sense let me know i'll be excited to do such that's that on that basically that's what i spent my end of the year money on i do not regret any of my purchase i smell heavenly Ugh. 
yum that's the end of this video to be honest if you guys are not subscribed yes please subscribe this year is our 50k and let me not even limit it what if we reach 100k this year it's possible anything is possible guys please subscribe i beg i beg eh? i'm putting in work let me know what you guys think and also please drop the name of your favorite perfume because if god bless me and i want to buy more perfume there's this perfume that is on my list i didn't like it at first when i had the money like i was literally standing in front of it at miami airport when i traveled but when i sprayed it then i did not feel i was not feeling it it just didn't smell nice to me at all that's lancome la vie est belle whatever the name i'm going to insert the picture you guys know the perfume i'm talking about so that's something i didn't like it but then i went for a lancome event and they gave me the sample pack this tiny ass sample that you can only use three times and it's done la vie est belle can you see how tiny this sample is like it's basically non-existent shasha they gave me this and then i've been feeling it so i'm like maybe i need to buy the full bottle and in nigeria it retails for 45 000 naira. i mean i cannot buy perfume in nigeria even if at the end of the day the money is the same thing but i just can't psych my brain to drop 45k to buy naira in naira so i usually always buy my perfume is either in duty free or at sephora or on amazon let me know what your favorite perfume is and i really want to explore and if you guys want to gift me stuff like all of you people in the odobodo or in the nigeria or in the anywhere you are in the world just you know this dm me you get just dm me in fact you don't want to pay for shipping that's how much i'm interested in it you don't need to pay for shipping i will, I will find a way i will do amzat again i'll be as not amzat as much <laughs> i'll do as much shipping again you don't want to ship it to me but in case god is using you to also ship it just dm me i'll give you address you get so that's that guys i hope you guys like this video it felt nice to record this video because it's not makeup <laughs> And it's not anything tax tasking. My shirt says feminist because I'm a feminist. My earring says feminist because I'm a feminist. In case you have not gotten the idea by now. If you're not a feminist, you need to check yourself. Yeah, something's wrong with you. I said it with my chest. But I bought this shirt on Amazon. Not Amazon. Let me show you. And it's of great quality. If you guys want me to record an AliExpress haul, I will be very glad to do so because hmm, if you see the bows I bought on AliExpress, yes, it's not bows per se, but then t-shirts and three dresses from AliExpress. But they are amazing. And if you need to know the like real vendors on and how to shop on AliExpress, the card you need to use and all those kind of things, let me know. I'm gonna record it for you guys. Like I'm for you guys this year. Okay, so I'm done. Oh, I'm exhausted. Okay, so yeah, bye guys. Thanks. So hang down with me. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Love you, kisses. Peace out. I know that a lot of people are going to ask me the shade of this lipstick. So to save myself from typing it over and over in the comment section, the name of this lipstick is Expresso by it's by Mac lipstick. Uh, it's by Mac. It's by Mac. You remember that they are retro Mac brand that they did the liquid lipstick. So that you guys don't ask me over and over again. This is is Expresso by Mac. So yeah, that's that. Peace out. I close that door. I. You're making noise, please. Pizza, Jenny. Believe me. Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity. I don't believe in happy endings.